Triggers could be assigned to the same element and that element can perform multiple operations when clicked or another condition is met. So for our example here, we've set this button to have multiple types of triggers depending on the shapes or elements it triggers they will have different animations and will act in a certain way when you add an interaction and you choose an element to trigger you you can for example decide a picture a shape a text a button or whatever element on the screen you need so depending on the element for example if we select a shape the operations that could be performed will vary. You can choose the background color, the border settings, different fills, height, opacity, visibility, width and position. And depending on the setting, there will be different options for each. For example, when you want to have different color, you may want to change a color and select the new one that it will transform into but for our example we are already prepared and we have set different animations to be performed and then the slide will transit in another phase have in mind that all of the elements are hidden but they are still here and they are just not visible and also they aren't on the slide because they don't have blocks in their channels. Let's play the slide and see what happens when we click on the button. We click and we see that different shapes, texts and elements are now visible. We have two people asking each other a question and now the next phase of the slide is already performing and now the slide will end. So depending on your needs, you can set different qualities and automations to your elements so that you can make a scene and more complex chains of events.